There are several application notes that include a recommendation to calibrate the electrode. The pH alkalinity application, AP0001.AT1102, is a good example. In this training example, the AT1222 model is used in the loaded pH alkalinity H2SO4 method screen, has alerted the user in red text that the PHC805 electrode is using an expired calibration. The software is utilizing a pre-programmed calibration setting to generate this message. The PHC805 pH probe is a general purpose refillable red rod IntelliCal probe. It is recommended to clean and maintain this probe following the probe manual instructions. To see information about the electrode calibration, the information icon can be highlighted and selected. From the information menu screen, valuable information on the electrode's last calibration date, slope, and offset is displayed. From this screen, the last calibration date of the titrant is also available. To calibrate the electrode, it is necessary to exit out of the information screen by selecting back or using the home key. From the home screen, the calibration icon and then electrode calibration can be selected. The software will then advance to the electrode calibration screen. The software is going to display the steps to calibrate the pH electrode using IUPAC pH calibration buffer solutions that are automatically recognized. Other buffer sets can be used by using the settings icon from the main menu. Selecting the application settings within the setting menu, the software will allow the editing of the loaded application including the desired pH buffer calibration standards. There are five steps to changing the pH buffer calibration standards. Step 1. Select Edit on the application settings menu. Step 2. Select the appropriate application you need to edit. In this case, the pH electrode that is being calibrated is in the pH alkalinity application. Step 3. Scroll down to the electrode heading and the title PHC805. The criteria for calibration frequency, slope, offset, calibration mode, and buffer sets are available in this menu. By selecting buffer set and edit, other pH buffer solutions can be used to calibrate the connected pH electrode. In this case, the color-coded pH buffer set has been chosen. The software will display that the changes were made. Exiting back to the main menu is then accomplished by selecting back or using the home key. Now that the correct pH buffer calibration solutions have been entered into the application software, the pH probe can be calibrated. Select calibration from the home screen, then select electrode calibration. The check icon is displaying the instructions to rinse the electrode and place it in the first calibration buffer solution and press start. The software is prepared to perform the pH electrode calibration. The titrator must now be prepared. Pour a small amount of each buffer solution that will calibrate the pH electrode into three separate sample beakers. Add a stir bar to each beaker. Rinse the electrode with deionized water using a wash bottle and waste container. Blot the electrode dry with a clean wipe. Confirm that the filling hole is open during the calibration steps and when measuring samples. Lock the plastic sample beaker with the first pH buffer solution and stir bar into place on the sensor holder. Lower the sensor holder till the bottom of the beaker makes contact to the body of the titrator and built-in stir. Confirm that the electrode is correctly positioned in the beaker. Select Start in the software. The titrator will initiate stirring and will begin to measure the buffer 1 solution. A stabilization bar will be displayed. The solution's pH value, millivolt value, temperature, and analysis time will be displayed as well. The software will then prompt the analysis of the second pH buffer.
Start the analysis of the second buffer by selecting Yes in the software. Slide the sensor holder up, remove the first sample beaker, rinse the probe with deionized water into the waste container, and blot the electrode dry with a clean wipe. Then replace and lock the second beaker containing the second buffer solution and stir bar into place. Then lower the sensor holder and insert the electrode into the sensor holder. Start analysis of the second buffer by selecting Start. The titrator again will initiate stirring and will begin to measure the buffer 2 solution. A stabilization bar will also be displayed and the, P, the solution's pH value, millivolt value, temperature, and analysis time will be displayed as well. The software will then prompt the analysis of the third buffer solution. The third buffer is analyzed in the same way as the previous two solutions. The buffer set that was selected utilized three pH buffer solutions consisting of 4, 7, and 10. The software will allow a calibration of two points on any buffer set. After the last buffer solution has been measured, select No to continue to the next buffer. After the last calibration buffer solution has been measured, the titrator will display the electrode calibration summary screen. This screen will provide the calibration slope in millivolts, the calibration percentage, and the offset in millivolts. The number of points used to create this calibration is confirmed, and the option to validate the calibration can be selected. The calibration percentage is a calculation of the measured slope divided by the theoretical slope of minus 59.16 times 100. The black dot at the bottom of the screen indicates that there is a subsequent screen of information. By using the arrow keys on the keypad, the second screen can be displayed. In this application, the second screen displays the calibration curve. The third screen is the calibration table. Validate the electrode calibration to exit the electrode calibration screen and return to the main menu.